RollForCrit.com presents How to Play NHL Power Play Team Building Card Game in 5 Minutes or Less or More NHL Power Play is the game that recreates all the excitement and athleticism of a real hockey game. There are players, there's a puck, you can punch each other if you feel like it, and whoever scores the most goals on the goalie wins, just like real hockey. Designed by Matt Hyra and published by Cryptozoic. If you're familiar with any other Cryptozoic deck building game, then you're in luck, because this one is almost exactly the same. But let's go over things again, just in case. You start the game by choosing a captain, each with their own special ability. Then you get a deck of 10 cards. On your turn, you draw 5 cards from your deck. Each turn, you play as many cards as you want to from your hand in any order you choose. Some of them will have special instructions and abilities, which will be indicated via text on the card. Most of them will give you a certain number of power. Power is your currency in the game. Its primary use is for buying new cards from the center ice or lineup of cards in the middle of the table, just like real hockey. Each card has a cost listed in the lower right-hand corner. If you've made that much power that turn from your played cards, you can gain it. Gained cards go into your discard pile to be shuffled back into your deck and drawn into your hand later on. You can buy multiple cards if you have enough points worth of power. There are also slapshot cards which are always available for a cost of three. When your turn ends, you discard your hand and draw a new set of five. If you run out of cards in your deck, reshuffle it. If any cards were bought from the lineup, they get replaced with new ones from the main deck. Just like real hockey. If you actually want to try to win the game though, there are these goalie cards. The goalies are like center ice cards that you can purchase with power, only instead of going into your deck, they help you win. If you want to take a shot at the goalie, you must declare so at the start of your turn. You can take a shot even if you won't have enough power right away. At that point, you're locked into your attempt and you won't be able to buy any other cards as you normally would. Then, one at a time going clockwise from your left, the other players get an opportunity to play defender cards. Defender cards add to the cost of the current goalie, and usually allow whoever played them to do something extra as well. Each player gets to play one defender card per shot. Once that's done, the player taking the shot gets to play all their cards and hopefully get enough power to score a goal and take the goalie card. A new goalie card appears afterwards, and their point costs get higher as the game goes on, just like real hockey. Players might also receive penalties as a result of cards played by themselves or others. Penalties go into your discard pile like a purchased card. If you have one in your hand during your turn, you must reveal it. If you ever reveal two or more of these cards on your turn, you stop whatever you're doing, you lose your turn, and you don't get to do anything. Then you return those penalty cards to the stack. Once all the goalies have been scored upon, whoever has the most goalie cards wins the game. Just like real hockey. In conclusion, draw cards, play cards, get power, take shots, miss 100% of the shots you don't take, hat trick, ice, Canada, knuckle puck. That's NHL power play in a nutshell. Did you get all that?